Roxy, look up. Rick Cosgrove just adopted Roxy. What do you got? Soon after, someone from his Hendersonville apartment complex called saying they need a pet deposit, extra rent, and a DNA sample from the dog. When you think DNA testing, right, you think criminals, you think warrants and getting DNA testing. You don't really think about it on your pet to diagnose its poop. That's the idea, to catch and find perpetrators who leave their dog's poop behind. But Cosgrove has some questions, like, if I give you my dog's DNA, what exactly am I agreeing to? What if I choose not to participate? And just because you find my dog's poop, who's to say someone else didn't take it out of the trash can and put it there? If you're the landlord trying to impose a fine, then you're going to have to have the burden or carry the burden of proving that the person receiving the fine or their pet is the wrongdoer. Property attorney Cleveland Bain says, bottom line, it's all about the signature on the bottom line of your lease. The best suggestion is always to read your lease thoroughly. Like I said before, have an attorney read it with you. Let's go over here. As for Cosgrove, he says he's not trying to be difficult. He certainly plans to pick up after his pup. Look at the camera. He just feels when it comes to dog poop enforcement. This is ridiculous and it's silly. There are better, cheaper ways to do it. I think uh, security cameras wouldn't hurt. I think it would be more cost effective, not to mention the other types of things it could capture, such as burglaries, breaks in, stuff of that nature.